Welcome to the Alchemical Empress page. I'm your host, Nicola. I have a little bit of a rant and a little bit of information and insight I want to share today. I want to talk a little bit about what has been happening behind the scenes while everybody has been shouting and pointing to the whole Israel-Hamas war. I always say when when the powers that be have you looking in one direction, always check the opposite direction to see what they're doing with the with the hidden hand. So while we've been distracted and yelling and shouting and taking sides on this and that and the other quietly without a noise or a peep being made, some major moves have been made by the Biden administration concerning the FCC. And so I wanted to talk about that a little bit and the importance of our freedom of speech. What is the FCC? It's the Federal Communications Commission. The Federal Communications Commission regulates interstate and international communications by radio, television, wire, satellite, and cable in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the U.S. territories. An independent U.S. government agency overseen by Congress, the commission is the United States' primary authority for communications, law, regulation, and technologi uh, technolo yeah, technological innovation. In its work face, economic opportunities and challenges associated with rapidly evolving, evolving advances in global communications, the agency capitalizes on its com competencies in, number one, promoting competition, innovation, and investment in broadband services and facilities, supporting the nation's economic and in by ensuring economy, by ensuring an appropriate competitive framework for the unfolding of the communications revolution, encouraging the highest and best use of spectrum domestically and internationally, revising media regulations so that new technologies flourish alongside diversity and localism, providing leadership and strengthening the defense of the nation's communications infrastructure. So this is what the FCC is regulated to do. But the Biden administration plan empowers the FCC to regulate every aspect of the internet sector for the first time ever. Now, they've been trying to do this since 2020, maybe before then, but it got shot down every time because people recognized what they were doing and people rose up and fought up and fought against it. But this time it seems like the people were sleeping while this was happening and they quietly started doing some regulation behind the scene while everybody was shouting about this side or that side. And so it's, this plan is motivated by an ideology of government control that is not compatible with the fundamental pre precepts of free market capitalism. <clears throat> so right now, uh, there is an opposition going on to this, but I wanted to bring this up for several reasons. Um, and, and part of it is because of my own personal rant. And part of it is because I've been watching the movement of all of this for quite some time. I've watched how the internet uh, started way, way, way back in the day when I was in the military before everybody had it in their households. I watched how they systematically manipulated people online um, using um, the iPhone technology. Then I watched the 2012, I, ca I call them the 2012 boomers, the people that came online for the YouTube generation in 2012, your Ralph Smarts, uh, um, what is it, Jackie Ina, these people that became uh, YouTube sensations and millionaires inspired everybody else to kind of move online to look at YouTube as a form of work as opposed to something that they did on the side. And then in 2020, I, I watched how they used this quote unquote pandemic to move people 
out of their workspaces into the home and basically pushed everybody online only to be able to control, corral, and manipulate the masses using these internet services. So now what's been happening, because there's such a pushback and they can't control the narrative of what they're trying to do around the world, even with the, the, the you know, thing that they got going on with Hamas and Israel, and they're recognizing that there's also an election coming up. They want to usurp power as much as possible and control narratives and that means controlling freedom of speech. Now, if you've been on YouTube for quite some time now, you see how people are using now code words to be able to communicate their messages to people and trying to get across real information. My rant is this. There are people who are using the internet for purposes to educate, to encourage to motivate, to teach, to inspire, to lift up uh, for positive purposes. And those are the, the, um, the videos that are least likely to be pushed in the algorithm. Then there are people that's just doing stupid ass shit and they can do the most crazy, wild prank or whatever, crazy stuff. And these are the people that behind the scenes, the algorithms push. They push that narrative so that that is at the forefront of, of what's going on. And behind the scenes, they are manipulating people's channels that are actually trying to help um awaken the masses and help the masses. Uh, some of our channels have gotten, uh, some of us have gotten locked out of our channels. Some of us have lost memberships and subscribers behind the scene because people could be subscribed. And I heard that some people said they are literally unsubscribing folks from their channels. Uh, their channels are getting stolen, things like this. So a lot of things are happening within the the uh, creator content situation behind the scenes that is not always publicly acknowledged. Here is my deal with the masses right now. For those of you who have the power to let your voice be known by the click of a button to say like or subscribe or make a comment, on a positive video, as opposed to the crap that's out there, do what you can to push positive videos because people who are truth tellers are trying to get messages across. People who are trying to get real information out there are risking a lot to be able to give information to the masses right now. Uh, they're being highly censored, they're being, you know, spied on and messed with behind the scenes and all kinds of stuff. And the very least you could do, and if you come into my channel, and this is a, uh, the, Alchem the Alchemical Empress page is a very new channel. I've only been on, on this particular channel for about three weeks now. It hasn't been, hasn't been even a, a entire month yet, I don't think. But um, I did have another channel, Curse to Change. It's still there. Uh, that channel, I spent all of my time studying and pulling information and working the information myself to help myself to help people understand the 12 step concept of working through their issues and they're going through their inner child work. For seven years, I did that and I never got a thousand subscribers, not even a thousand subscribers. I couldn't monetize it if I wanted to monetize it. And so people will come, they will look and they would not uh, acknowledge the information at all. If you come to my channel, especially if you're one of my tribe, my tribe, my tribe, I don't think I have a problem with this, but if you're coming to my channel in particular and you eat at my table, the least you could do is say thank you. And all you need to do by saying to say thank you is hit the like button or the dislike button, but engage the video so that positive information and real truth can continue to be pushed because everything is trying to censor us, everything. 
the, the controls in the background of corporations, YouTube, and now the U.S. government, the federal government. So if you find information that is worthwhile, if you're coming to my channel to learn anything, if my channel has helped you to see something you've never seen and grow in a way that you've not grown before in certain ways, or you're, or you're, you're catching something that you haven't caught before, or you're just listening in, at least find the courtesy because, you know, we don't teach manners anymore. For some reason, we don't know what common courtesy is anymore, but that is the equivalent of saying, thank you. So let's push this in the algorithm so that videos like this can actually be seen and continue to push the narrative uh, to, to show via the algorithm that this is the type of information that we want to see. And this crap that they're pushing on you is not. Because there is a lot of power in the masses. And, a, and the masses have to constantly be aware of the fact when they're being played by the government. And right now, the masses are being played by the government. And so if the very least you could do is channels like mine, channels like people, anyone that's teaching you something that's, that's trying to, trying to show truths, that's trying to help you in some way, that's trying to give something to you in some way, show them the love. Let me know you're out there. Let me know you actually care. Because the other thing that I learned about the other channel is I refuse to overgive anymore. Because I do have to make a sacrifice. I'm doing this for free. When I, whenever I don't have enough subscribers to monetize a, a channel, my work is literally free unless I have sponsors and I do not. So some people, they're just doing and saying anything for sponsorships and just to get, you know, YouTube to move the algorithm to do all kinds of crazy. They don't care what they're giving you. They're giving you trash and garbage. And some of y'all are just eating it up. And those people that are trying to give you truth, that is trying to give you insight, that's trying to teach you something, that's trying to help you grow, that's how, trying to help you to become better, you don't do anything at all. So the, the power is in your hand right now to push back a little bit. Now, I know that they moved the needle on a federal level on us, but on the local level, in the, in the very personal way to, to push back against that, the positive things that you look at online, acknowledge it. Whether, whether it's positive, whether you agree or disagree, at least engage it so that it moves the algorithm a bit. You know, so if you're if you're one of the because you know, we got spies out there too. I got spies all day long. Some people just come to my channel. Some people come to my channel, grab information, and I've watched them spew it back out like they've done the research themselves. I've watched, I got people that's even in my family that's watch it just to see what I'm doing, just to spy on me. And then other people that's just nosy. But if you're out there and you're watching, engage the channel by hitting the like button or the dislike button. Either one, I don't care. Make a comment. If something I say resonates with you, then say something. Let me know that you're listening to the channel. Otherwise I won't engage this anymore. I'll just take it down because it doesn't, it, right now we have to fight too hard just to give, just to give, just to give. I take time, I read, I research, I put information out there that I'm trying to help, encourage, inspire, educate, do what I can to serve the masses in the, in the best possible way that I can. And the very least you could do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, comment if you like to engage, let me know if resonated, don't resonate. I, I'm feeling it, I don't feel it. Something so that the algorithm can move in the direction of positive information as opposed to the negative trash that is out there. Because all you see right now is gossip rag. And he say, she say crap. And it's all over. And that's the stuff they push. They, they push the most insane stuff in the algorithm. And that's the stuff people tend to engage more. And then anything that's positive or educational or something that's helping you along the way, it seems to get less and less and less. And those of us 
who are 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 working. I mean, uh, trying to give you information. We're getting fought left and right. I on my other channel, I have I had a pri uh, a prepper, uh, Aaron Olinger, who had a channel that was completely taken away from him for no reason at all. He did just locked him out of his channel. So he had all of these amazing videos trying to teach you how to put your life together such that you were prepared for the times to come. And yet his information gets completely locked out and you have other people like that and they're losing their channels. They're being demonetized and all types of stuff. If they're trying to give you something positive, but then the negative shit, they let you go on and on and on and on. So if you stop by this channel, the least you can do is say, hello, hit the like button or hit the dislike button comment. Let me know you're listening. Let me know that the, the message that I put out resonates or not, or not, but engage the algorithm so that positive information can continue to flow and fight back people fight back on the level in the ways that you can fight back because your voice is being taken away day by day, day by day. They're taking away your right to say this and your right to say that. You're looking at people using all kind of crazy ass coded language just to get a message across to you. The least you could do is try to fight back. Try to fight back. I think that at some point they're going to force us off the Internet and back into a town square where we could just speak openly. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to roll out because the internet is going to come to a major halt in a minute when this whole EMP or whatever hits to knock the, the circuit out anyway. And, and, and that, that's going to be their cue to restart things the way they want to try to restart things. But while you have the voice, while you have the, the ability to say something, do something, engage the positive stuff with more vigor. The negative stuff is already rolling out there. But let the people that's trying to get you information of truth in education, of empowerment, some invocation, new, whatever, whatever they're trying to give to you in a positive way, engage that more vigorously because we're being fought behind the scenes like you would never understand. And now they have the federal authority to do what they're doing. So they are systematically shutting down our voices. Do not allow this to happen, people. Push back. Push back. Just push back. That's all I have. That was my rant for the day. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace, everybody.